A very good morning to you. Welcome to our Bird Notes. This is Dwight Davis. Earlier this month, I was lounging in my backyard, reading, and only passively listening to the spring bird songs, all of them very assertive. The sing-song carol of the robin, the bold, incisive sound of the cardinal, the loud, rollicking song of the Carolina wren, and above all, literally, he was in the very top of an oak tree, the paired and varied phrases of an exuberant brown thrasher, somewhat suggesting his cousin the mockingbird, but with less finesse. And then I heard it, the thin, rising song of the prairie warbler. Well, welcome, sweet spring. The prairie warbler is one of the first of the wood warblers to arrive in our area, and it is doubly welcome. First, it signifies that the vernal parade of warblers is beginning. The others will follow soon, the males all dressed in fresh colors, singing their buzzy songs as they move north. It makes late April and early May a very exciting time of year. Second, there is the bird itself, one of those miniature jewels of the bird world. It sports a bright yellow, like many warblers, with black streaks on its side. The facial pattern is distinctive, with black lines outlining the yellow. Females have the same pattern, only a bit duller. A close look at the male will reveal broken rufous streaks on the olive back. Also, like some of its relatives, the prairie warbler bobs its tail. And the distinctive song should clinch the identification. Out of curiosity, I checked Frank M. Chapman's The Warblers of North America, a book published in 1917. He lists the average dates of the arrival of the prairie warbler for Raleigh, North Carolina as April 15th and for Washington, D.C. as April 22nd. So they're right on time again. This punctuality, by the way, is not unusual. Barring severe weather, which can alter their course or delay them, most birds arrive in the spring at about the same time as they always have. The warblers can be counted on like the swallows of San Juan Capistrano. It's just that the swallows get more press. There's even a song about them, and probably t-shirts and tote bags. One more thing. The prairie warbler nests in the southeast of the United States. So they're scouting around right now in bushy clearings for nest-building materials. So the birds are here, but where are the prairies? Well, this bird, like, for example, the magnolia warbler, is simply misnamed. Pioneering ornithologist Alexander Wilson discovered the bird in a barren area of Kentucky, called by the locals the prairie, thus the name. But whatever it's called, the prairie warbler comes in the vanguard of the northern migration of the wood warblers, and it marks a high point of the birder's year. 